Greetings, toy heads, and welcome to another episode of Go Figure with me, your host, Eli Williams. And today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified series, Crimson Bat. Uh, I picked this and the Crimson Viper up off of Amazon. They were on sale, and uh, I'm sharing it with you. So let's have a look here. We've got the uh, windowless packaging, because this one's a little older. Uh, ages 4 plus up here, choking hazard. Warning, don't put Crimson Bat in your mouth because there's sharp stuff and just don't put stuff in your mouth like this. Uh, put food in your mouth. Uh, up here at the top, we've got uh, Cobra logo number 60 in the series there. Got that incredible artwork. It's uh, swip swapped there uh, than what it normally is. Uh, we've got a picture of the bat down here at the bottom, but we've got this really neat artwork, comic artwork there, which I love the artwork that they put on these. G.I. Joe Classified Series Hasbro logo, Crimson Bat, B-A-T. On the side here, we've got that artwork coming around to the side. And then on the side here, blocked by an Amazon barcode, we have the glyphs uh, that you can see on G.I.Joe.com, what uh, they stand for. Number 60 in the wave, G.I. Joe logo there. Here we've got a digital rendering of the bat and uh, then the uh, picture of the figure there. There's those glyphs again. Jibbery jabbery legal jargon across the board. Ages zero to three, you know what that means. If your child is not born yet, they shouldn't play with these toys. That's right, you're welcome. G.I. Joe.com, Hasbro, on the bottom here. More jibbery jabbery legal jargon, houses of Klingon, and barcode. Let's get him out of the box onto the pedestal and we'll have ourselves a look. And here we've got him on the pedestal. Let's have a look at the accessories. First off, we have a secondary head option here. Uh, looks like Battle Ravage. We got like a robotic eye peeking out there. Uh, a big section of the helmet torn away. And you can see the little electronics and circuitry poking through there. That looks pretty cool. The, the silver shield in the front there has got some cracks in it. That looks really neat. And uh, then we have a smattering of hand options. He's got, comes with, uh, by default, he's got the uh, fist, which I, th I believe it's the right arm or the right hand that uh, has uh, options to be removed, but you can probably do this with all of them. Um, it comes with a uh, two grip hands, got a trigger finger here, trigger finger there. Uh, then we have what appears to be, and this is a little bit warped looking too. And this is a hard plastic. I don't know why that got so warped. I'll have to heat that up and uh, bend that back into play. But it looks like we've got a blowtorch uh, here, all in black. You can see the tank down there and the little uh, nozzle there. Um, this does have a, or maybe that, I guess this is the, okay, that's the igniter and then this is the blowtorch. But it does have a hollow barrel on it so you can put effects in there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, um, looks like a blowtorch, and then here we have a claw, um, the uh, claw attachment for the hand, and uh, that's uh, got a serrated edge there up at the top, and then a uh, where it clamps down here underneath. Um, they all have pins on them. Um, they all have pins on them, so they can fit into that. And then we have, this looks like a blaster. Um, that's got a, a hollow barrel for some gun effects on it. Little blaster uh, attachment there. And uh, then we have the backpack, which has uh, a couple of uh, a couple different places to put uh, said attachments. They just snap right into place there. Um, so at, at any given moment, you can have, uh, you can have a have either ones on there and then have plenty of storage on the backpack but uh, the backpack has got some circuitry right here uh, looks like we, yeah we got a couple of tanks uh, right there which I'm assuming would power the blowtorch uh, I've got the peg in the back there that goes into his back and uh, it's all pretty basic black other than the hoses on the tanks there are, are red and then we have a pistol um, right there. It looks like with a some type of launcher underneath the barrel uh, that goes, and he's got a uh, he's got a holster there uh, on his left hand side. Then we have two different chest plate options. We have a battle ravaged um, and with the Cobra logo on there. 
Uh, we have a battle ravaged one and a standard one. It says their model number 00003. Um, YR 2022, or year, I guess that's year 2022. And then it looks like a barcode underneath there, but uh, same chest plate here, just all dented up and battle ravaged. So you could add that with the helmet. Uh, for a battle ravage version of him. I'm definitely going to put this one on. I'm going to keep him clean and neat. Uh, like he's just getting ready to go into battle. And then here we've got the bat. Um, let's measure him up. And he is tall. He stands at right at six and a half inches. Uh, between, well, between six and a half and six and three quarters inches tall. Um, looking at the sculpt here, this is really, really neat. Um, We've got that option uh, to, to, you can pop those hands off and put the extensions or the attachments on there. I guess it would be an extension. Um, looks really good. I did have the, the regular bat as, a, a, as an original G.I. Joe as a kid. So this does bring back some memories. Um, really neat looking sculpt. We've got that body suit that's obviously over a robotic body. Um, you can see the neck even uh shows that that's uh it's got some uh it's got a bunch of circuitry and uh like hydraulics and stuff in there gears and well not gears but uh yeah like hydraulic sliders in there um got that uh that same helmet there but a clean version of it um got some white paint apps on the back and on the front here little lines right on the sides of the uh silver shield there all done in the crimson red um, going down, we've got that black uh, riveted robot looking neck there. Uh, I've got some gray paint app straps going down here onto the chest where that chest piece would go. Got a lot of circuitry peeking out there uh, from underneath where that chest plate would go. Silver, uh, crimson, silver, crimson guard or crimson silver cobra, uh, cobra logo. Wow, that was difficult to say. Uh, on the side here, and then over here, we've got the uh, the Crimson Guard logo. Uh, on the back here, we've got a little plate where the uh, backpack attaches there, uh, where that lines up. Uh, got a, a gray, I almost said brown, gray rubber um, holster belt uh, system here that seems to be riding up because this, uh, this one on the leg needs to be pulled down a little bit. There we go. That's where it really should be. Um, I like how the sleeves on the bodysuit go down and then reveal the arms from the sh uh, elbow down. Uh, we've got that black, uh, those black hydraulics in there. Uh, you can see those. And then we've got those robotic claw type hands. Uh, I've got a black accessory belt there on the right leg. Uh, which is a separate piece going down. We've got that blood red and red bodysuit going down with some even darker, a little bit uh, polished and uh, shiny knee pads there. Going all the way down where we got some gray boots with some black paint apps going around the top of the boots and then over the, the top of the feet on there. Really neat looking, uh, really neat looking figure. Um, looking at articulation, we've got a neck with a ball joint going into the upper torso with a dumbbell going up into the head, giving us full rotation on the head. Uh, super down on this. Uh, not a whole lot of up, but not too bad. No deal breakers there. Um, really good tilt on that. Hey, uh, really good tilt on that neck right there. They did a good job with that. Uh, we've got super butterfly shoulders uh, butterfly hinges on the shoulders there full rotation on the shoulders going up into the ooh, this one's a little tight um into the this one's not wanting to go up and i don't want to break that but we'll just uh we'll just say this one will go up as far as this one does um so you can get it up in the t formation it's just this one's being a little cranky um, but I will, uh, I'll have to work with that one. Um, we've got a double L or a uh, bicep swivel with a double elbow. Or is that a single elbow? Yeah, no, that is a double elbow going all the way to there. 
uh, down to the wrist where we don't have a gauntlet swivel, but we do have a full wrist swivel with an hinge in and out on the left. I'm assuming this right one is going to be an up and down. Uh, and it is not. It is an in and out. Okay. Uh, down to the uh, mid torso where we've got an ab crunch right there for some, or a hinge with an app for an ab crunch. I'm just out of it. I need to stop doing these when I wake up. Uh, got a ball joint mid torso for some hula hoop and some waist swivel action, so that's good. Legs all the way out to there, and there's that riding up again. Um, do have drop down ball joints on those uh, on those hips and a uh, thigh swivel. Uh, right in there. We've got a double knee going back to there where that ca catches right there with that poofiness uh, above the boot. Down to uh, the boot swivel and uh, detents on the feet and a forward rocker. Um, let's get him all lined up with the backpack here. And we'll get all of his accessories in place here. I want to put the black chest piece on there. And uh, let's do the, let's, I want to do the blaster on his, I'll do the blaster on his right arm because I will put his hand back here in the backpack, the peg hole that goes right in there. Yeah, so we'll uh, we'll put the we'll put the blaster one on that on that arm. Put that right up into place there. Very cool. I like him. I like him a lot. That's awesome. He's looking really good. Let's pull him off the pedestal. We'll line him up with some other characters and we'll see how he scales up. And here we have him lined up with the Medico Moffex Return of the Jedi Boba Fett, the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Imperial Stormtrooper Version 2, the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series Retro Ultron, and the Mattel DC Universe Classics Power Armor Suit Lex Luthor. All in all, I'm extremely happy with him. I think he's a really, really cool figure. Um, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Um, not quite a 10 out of 10, a 9 out of 10. Um, there's just a couple little nitpicks I've got about him, but, you know, no d real deal breakers. But uh, he does uh, the, the gun belt. I wish the, I wish the uh, gun holster was a separate piece away from the belt. So when I mean, you move his legs, it doesn't ride. It causes that belt to ride up. Um, other than that, I, I think it's a really good figure. Um, I'd have it a 10 out of 10 had they done that. But he still looks great. He's going to have great shelf presence. And again, like I always say, at the end of the day, that's what we always want. So that will do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse, smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things coming out of my channel. You all have yourselves a great week, a great day, and I'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget to get your figure on. Take care.